Hey there everyone, don't you just hate it when you have a picture that doesn't fill out the entire canvas. So people generally what they do is that they stretch the entire damn picture, which you're not supposed to do because it distorts the picture. Or you can just proportionally stretch it, but in that case you might lose some elements. So what you can do is you can do two things, which I'm going to share in this video. So go to insert first, get a shape for you. So this one rectangle would be nice. Then I'm going to drag it like that. Then I'm going to get rid of the shape outline because we don't want any outlines. Then I'm going to click on this shape format option. Then I'm going to go for gradient fill. Then I'm going to select eyedropper tool and select a darker tone color from this picture. I'm going to select this color done. And I'm going to select the same color for the other side of the gradient. Now we have a solid gradient fill. Now I'll increase the transparency a bit so that it becomes see through. Then I will just click over there so that I have another nudge to work with and I'll just drag it over there. Done. And I'll just stretch the entire shape like that until as you can see the vanishing point is hard to distinguish from the naked eye. So there's that. So I've merged the background with the shape. Now if you want to make it feel like that it wasn't artificial what I'm going to do is click on the picture duplicate it then I'm gonna click format then remove background I'm gonna isolate this little part of the leaves like this done then I'm gonna define it further so this one defining it I'm gonna define this part too done so we are done defining then I'm gonna keep the changes then I'm gonna place it right over there so as you can see feels like it's a 3d effect and these leaves are popping out so we have stretched the entire picture on our canvas and it doesn't even feel like we have stretched the thing it also gives it a 3d effect like you know the other part of the leaves are getting in the dark zone and this is popping out so that is how you can stretch your picture so now you can just click here like grow beyond your limitations or whatever you feel like all right so i'm gonna soon go to my next tree but before that let me finish off this part like go grow beyond your limitations like this this suits it right you know we had our limitation we our limitation was our picture wasn't growing beyond its original dimension so we made it bigger than that so grow beyond your limitations like that and we just tilt it a bit just like that and make these things coherent all right so that would be the thing grow beyond your limitations I'm gonna increase this font a bit okay done so we have our grow beyond your limitations done so for the next case we have this tiger but as you can see the tiger doesn't feel the entire frame and what if we want this to be symmetric which it isn't so what we are going to do is just go to format, go to crop, and crop it right where you think it hits the middle part. Done. Then I'm going to press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Done. Then I'm going to flip it horizontally. So to do that, format, rotate, flip horizontal. Done. And we have a tiger over there. And I'm going to drag it all over. Then press Ctrl G or otherwise you can what do is right click group it together and just bring it in the middle right in the middle or I can use this done so if I open the slideshow we have our tiger face completing the entire canvas so people who didn't see the start of the video will have no idea that this tiger was duplicated or maybe they can get an idea but they won't notice that you just did some trickery on this so that is how you fill up the entire canvases with pictures that does that just don't do the job in the first place all right so that would be all for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you share this video and subscribe to the channel that, because that will inspire me a lot to make more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.